Addy. Good morning. What's in your hair? Dude! Oh my gosh. He wants to play down. You wanna go down? You have to wait till mommy comes and helps you. Her toe is like gripping over her sandals. Go! Run, run, run! You wanna go back up? Good morning from Nashville. Look at our cute little backyard area. We've had quite the go around this morning and events that we've tried to do aren't really working out. We left to go to breakfast this morning to go to brunch. We looked up three different places that we wanted to go. The first place that we went to, there was a wraparound line around the building downtown. We were like, there's no way that we're having three kids wait in this line and go to breakfast here. I know, those are pretty. Then we're like, okay, we'll go somewhere else. And we quickly found out when we were going downtown that there was a huge protest going on at City Hall about the recent events that have happened here in Nashville and, you know, protesting against all of the gun violence going on so with that being said there were a lot of police officers downtown every parking spot was taken there were people everywhere so we just decided that we were gonna try and go somewhere else and find somewhere else to eat this morning we ended up finding a really really cute donut shop and the donuts were so so good were oh, they, they were, not they were fine. they were so good like and I'm, Maybe not, a, go I'm back. not a donut person. No, you don't even like I'm not donuts. a donut person. The only type of donut I like is like a yeast kind of donut, which is like Krispy Kreme. Mm -hmm. But that wasn't. That was like a cake. Mm -hmm. And it was good. It was very good. Three I gigantic know. donuts. She ate three donuts this morning. I'm like, what in the five-year-old is going on? <laughs> what Like, that was crazy. It's pretty cloudy out. It's been drizzling. Not raining, but literally drizzling all day long. So everything's pretty wet. All of the parks are covered in water. Two days ago, there, um, was t there was tornadoes all over this area. Yes. And then tomorrow, there's gonna, there's a potential for more tornadoes in this area. Yeah, so there's just, we got a lot going on, and we're trying to figure out what there is to do. There is a science museum, but we looked at it at about 11 o'clock today. I just didn't think it was going to be worth the money or time to go there with the state of how they are and driving all day yesterday. Yeah. And then, of course, Addy, too. I think this is good for them. Like, they're just playing with yes. flowers in the yard. Listen to all the birds. Addy was not a good weeper weeper last night. She slept with mommy and daddy all night long. And she fell asleep in the car this morning while we were trying to find donuts. And she also like was like completely out of it this morning. Yeah, so my mom is flying in. She's probably flying right now, but she's flying in. She'll be here at like three o'clock. Right, I am back in the truck. It is just me. Um, I got the older girls to go to sleep and they went down so easily. They are exhausted from yesterday because thinking about it, they did wake up extremely early and then they did sleep in the car. Like they fell back asleep in the car, but they didn't sleep for very long. They knocked out really fast. Katie's actually trying to get Addie to sleep right now. While we were here, we were gonna kind of look around, look at the neighborhoods, and we did get a chance to do that. We did get to drive around. I'd say probably 30 minutes to an hour, just kind of like drive around, look at some different neighborhoods and things like that. And it's actually really cool here. It's kind of, it's, it's obviously way different than Colorado. Like it's either like, it's a really nice house that's like completely renovated, brand new, or it's like kind of like an older house. So it's kind of weird, like their neighborhoods are either a really nice house, it'll be like a really nice house next to like kind of an older house. So I'm actually going to the store right now while the girls are sleeping and I'm just going to get like bare minimum stuff like some snacks and maybe some lunch things. I'm going to get some fruit, something super quick and fast that the girls can enjoy for the next couple of days. But then we're gonna be out of here and we're going to be going to a different city in Tennessee that um, is a little bit more like mountainy and kind of what we're used to. to tell you oh, wow. literally so much like beyond this video there's been so much that has happened so many like big life changes <laughs> that we have we just have so much to share oh, and so man. the next video after this is gonna be kind That's of crazy. crazy and I feel like it's gonna come out of nowhere I don't think anybody's gonna expect it we want to talk to you guys a little bit about Tennessee and why we were there and everything that happened there was there was a lot that happened and 
we just ended up enjoying our trip and not filming too much on YouTube. So we wanted to, we took some clips here and there, but we wanted to kind of debrief with you guys and tell you guys a little bit of what happened. We did a few things in Nashville. We went to went to Paula Dean's restaurant, which was pretty good. I it thought was pretty good. It, it, I thought it was pretty good. Also, it, it had like cool. a, it had like a very unique like style and like concept of That's the restaurant. Right. Concept's a better word for it, but yes, it was pretty cool. Yeah, like they brought out. It was like. Family style, so it's they like brought out. Style. It's like a endless supply, but you could only pick like a certain number of entrees and sides, and then you. Have yeah, but endless... you didn't go up and get it. It's like no. they brought it to you, and then you like took it out of the big mm -hmm. dishes that they brought. Anyway, it was really cool. We went to the Country Music Hall of Fame. They had that like a really Taylor cool. Swift section, which was super cool, yep. and um, just like enjoyed our trip in Tennessee. Now the reason why we drove all the way to Tennessee, and we've had this trip planned for over a month now. Yeah, felt like around a month is because. It's so kind of weird to like think about. I know, it's so weird to think about. When we were in Keystone on our Epic Pass trip, yep. I got a message from my manager that Sean Johnson and her husband, Andrew East, wanted us to come out and be on their podcast. And at first I was like, you have texted the wrong person. Like, this is not for me. So we started planning our trip. We of course said yes, so we wanted to go out there and talk with them. It was really fun. We went, we met them, we filmed our episode. I will leave the episode link down below that we filmed because it's already put out. It's been out for a little bit now and I kind of want to go over it a little bit or talk about it if you guys have any questions because yeah. we had no idea what we were walking into. No. We and had like a rough idea of a concept, but we didn't know any of the questions, questions or, or what specifically what specifically we would be talking about. So all of our answers that we gave were directly on the spot wow. of just what came to and you mind. Could, and you could kind of tell on the last question or like one of the last questions, we kind of both got stumped. You know what I mean? Like it took mm -hmm. us a while to like process it because it was like a pretty in-depth question. question. They were so unbelievably nice. Yes, like I cannot like say that enough like they were very hospitable and like i don't know they were just extremely nice to us they were so sweet and that was a great time that was the reason why we went out to tennessee is nope. to be on the podcast with them so like i said i will have that all linked down below and then the next day no we had one more full day and that's when we went to the country music hall of fame yep. and then we after that aaron came in aaron came in that night and then we yep. went over to Knoxville. We drove over to Knoxville because we've been wanting to go to Tennessee for a while and just look around at Tennessee and see if it'd be a place for us to live and Move look at the to. houses and all of that stuff. So we went over to Knoxville for a day or two, explored around there and- It was beautiful. It was really, really pretty. Yeah, I'm really kind pretty. of sad about the house situation because I yeah. thought that the place that I was renting was in the Smoky Mountains, but it was in like the- it was downtown. Heart of, yeah, it was like in the heart of Knoxville, but it was but up on this hill. It was a very, did we record any of it? I recorded the outside of it. It was just like a very weird layout, like the driveway up to it, and it was just so isolated, but then again, it was also surrounded by the heart of the city. I know, it was very strange. And it so was. when we pulled up, we were like, what is this? Yeah. That was interesting. I was sad that we weren't more in the mountains than we were. It's okay. We didn't we, have enough time to like go into the mountains. Yeah, we kind of got a little taste of it because we did have an opportunity to go like drive through into some neighborhoods like a little bit closer to the mountains, not necessarily in them. So anyway, we did that and our trip kind of ended abruptly. We thought about going back to Nashville and spending a few more days in Nashville, but we, we decided that home. we wanted to get home and um, we were packing up to leave because we were going to leave during the girls bedtime and drive through the night which we did drive through the night but as we're packing up we heard gunshots, gunshots in like the forest area of where the house was which freaked my mom and Aaron were also here so it kind of freaked them out and heard multiple gunshots what are you doing I'm looking I'm gonna pull up the text of what your mom sent us so we heard the gunshots together as we were leaving mm -hmm. and then we literally pull out and then she texts us says more gunshots we are out just left headed to Nashville now they went back to Nashville and stayed the night because that's where they were flying out because they heard more gunshots and they also saw like police, police officers yeah. Like and this right is next right to beside the house. Oh, yeah. Right next to the house. And they said that there was some kind of like spotlight or something pointed up to the house or something yeah, we like are, that. Yeah, we don't know. Because we weren't necessarily there for that part. But they were, even after we left, they were like, all right, we're up. Yeah. So anyway, we left. We drove through the night. We made it home. And that's where we kind of pick up with what has happened next. What? We're not going to say it here, are we? 
that might give you guys a little bit of a hint. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on all the social media stuff below. We'll see you in our next video.